Hi folks, Nan Bajani Tierra here. It's uh, Sunday, July 1st, 2012. I'm in Carborough, just outside of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, I have sublet uh, a small one-bedroom house for the month of July and early August from a gentleman that is in Haiti right now. And so I have a roof over my head for a little bit while I decide uh, what's next in my life. Um, so I'm going to do a little microsievert count per minute comparison uh, with my inspector here. This is an inspector I purchased in uh, December 2011. It was calibrated shortly before that. And I'm going to flip it to counts per minute right now. I'm, uh, uh, this is just uh, uh, checking background air. I just did a 10 minute timed count and it was uh, 30 counts per minute on average over 10 minutes, which is uh, uh, fairly typical for this area. So I'm just going to flip back and forth. This is for Deb and Ray and the other folks that are on uh, Radiation Watch that are always struggling with our uh, various Geigers and trying to uh, correlate counts per minute and microsieverts. This is microsieverts per hour, counts per minute. Microsieverts per hour, counts per minute. Again, these are different measures. Counts per minute are, is disintegrations per minute. Microsieverts per hour is an intensity measure. Microsieverts an hour. counts per minute. Microsieverts an hour. Counts per minute. Okay, I'm going to sign out here. We're just over three minutes. Again, I just did a 10-minute time, timed count and got uh, uh, 30.4 counts per minute over those 10 minutes. So as most of us with Geigers know, there's a fairly wide range that you get when you're running them. But I wanted to shoot this for, the, for everyone that's struggling with the microsieverts and uh, count per minute correlation. Those of us with inspectors can flip between the two. Those with soaks um, are not able to um, view the count per minute correlation. So anyway, have a great day, folks.